Oh, I wish sleep could be bottled. Sorry again, what is bottled? I wish sleep could be bottled. Oh, yeah. A lot of things should be in conserves and be uh, ad hoc use items. <laughs> <laughs> Horses. Recently, um, WebEx does not connect my computer audio. It does nothing. I have to click on connect and a screen opens that tells me that I'm not connected. Yeah, I know that. So then I clicked on computer and it gives me more options. Like, yeah, just, just get yeah. audio, you know? So I don't know why these are jumping through loops. This is now, uh, yeah, it's into, weird. Uh, it's weird. It does that now and then to me. And then sometimes it leaves the box up that says it's connecting. <laughs> and and I'm yeah. obviously connected, but it still has the box up. Yeah, that's your thing. I have never encountered that. <laughs> Everybody got uh, got his own new feature gimmick. Well, Zoom Zoom web browser Zoom now features gallery mode. Yeah, it's confusing. Cause, it's cause looking that, at the Brady Bunch. Because that yeah. well, that's, that's okay. But the point is that 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 we were told that that was too hard. They couldn't do it for a browser. <clears throat> oh, oh, and on the app, that's a feature, I think, but yeah. Yeah, but now now it's available in the browser, which of course, okay. you know, doesn't feature un unexamined random binaries, right? Um, <laughs> but anyway, so Dave's built a bunch of pull requests and reviewing I for them, I think they will take us the bulk of the hour to do and you also updated some issues dave um which you said was going to be emails did you mark them that way only one only one okay i guess that's just the one that i clicked on that it was. Uh, i thought there was one that i did last time that i said was email only but i couldn't remember which one it was so i Probably was created a little... yeah maybe it was won't fix we were using i don't know yeah uh, do you want to tell me which one is the email? The, uh, right. On page one, it's the one that has the label that says email only. I created a new label because I didn't remember that we were using won't fix for that. So. Ah, okay, this one. Okay, wonderful. And, well, but people should review it to, I mean, you can bring it up on the screen or whatever to see if people agree with my uh, response in there. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. So there is some uh, idea here that the uh, relying party uh, produces more digestible or more or easier to appraise uh, things, but I think other parts of the text already highlight that. So. Fine with me to uh, have this no uh, change. Yeah. All right. So um... that's Thomas and Mines. I think that's not Dave's. Uh, yeah. I, I I had two small ones. The the first one is a much larger one, and I've only reviewed part of it myself. So. Uh, for the ones that I generated, read the issue first because I didn't add any comments. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so Thomas had proposed something, Hank kind of liked it. Um, I said that. Um, uh, that uh, proposed text had an error in it. Um, and so I tried to have the right error. The error in the text is uh, in, I think, Thomas's text where he said um, the same serialization, the attestation result, the same serialization as the evidence. That's not what was intended. It's the same serialization format as the protocol between the uh, attester and their lying party. The evidence is, error, is not relevant to this. Uh, so you can go and look at the actual text and see why. So, 
this is talking about the background check model, right? So in the background mm. check model, the evidence is completely opaque to the relying party. You never parse the evidence. So that's why. Yeah, but I think to uh, Thomas, the point is uh, if you build a, uh, a complete ecosystem, you can reuse code. So I, I actually think that he means evidence here. Um, right. And I'm saying that's wrong. What is important is in a particular entity to be able to reuse code. That means you have to be able to reuse a parser that you already have. Right. So if you have a protocol between a relying party and a tester, you know, HTTP or SMB or whatever it is that does something, you know, OPC way, fill in your paper protocol, you know, um, then being able to reuse the parser that that protocol already requires is what allows you to uh, save yeah. code and attack service. I, I see your point, but also I think it diverges from the proposal of, of Thomas, and I'm a little bit uncomfortable with closing well, this without him here. So Thomas's proposal changes the meaning of the original stuff. Is there the the yeah. thing was filed to say it wasn't clear? It wasn't that that it had the wrong meaning. So Thomas's proposal doesn't actually address the actual file. Uh, okay. Yeah. If Thomas yeah so file a separate issue. Oh, Thomas is on. Oh, well, he looks like he's in the process of getting audio. So if we wait a minute. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would be way better. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. So, Thomas, are you there? The correct answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, only correct answer. It doesn't show a mic yet, so. It does. It says he's uh, unmuted. Yeah, but Thomas yeah, might right. have uh, Thomas. local audio issues. Yeah, you're right. He has his little headphone icon next to his name. <clears throat> Thomas, yeah. unmute your microphone. Now he's yeah, muted. Okay, that's progress. He's muted. Means maybe you can hear us. Thomas, wave if you can hear us. <laughs> I can hear you. Can you All hear right. me? Because All I have right. horrible packet loss on this side. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. So, mm. not sure how it's going. Yeah. I don't know why it's horrible, but I guess. Did you hear any of that, Thomas, or should we repeat? Sorry. So the conversation Dave. was about the 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 proposal text, and Dave has made a point that um, the ability to reuse depends upon not that it's the same serialization, but that that you have a uh, existing parser for the same serialization. I guess. Okay. Yes, I I read these comments, uh, and I agree. Uh, okay. So that the point is. The relying party does not need a parser for the evidence, right? So that's yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even your comment for before the, the resource access protocol, like you know, HTTP or SMP or SIP or whatever it is. Okay, correct. All right. Yeah. So if you're okay with this, then I didn't hear anybody else. Okay, let's go. Oh. There's some psychology behind merged being purple. <laughs> I, I, I'd be interested to know, right? You know, uh, I'm just, I'm just okay. uh, highlighting so... my, 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 my uh, uh, follow-up question. So, so there is no added benefit intended here for the original text that says uh, that evidence and uh, attestation results have the same, uh, what you call it now, format. Uh, is of benefit. So that is not a requirement that was just an accidental uh, uh, association, yes? The original text did not mean that. Um, okay. Is, is there any case where that matters? I would say uh, only if you were no. Okay, and here's why, right? The attester has parsers for two things. It has parsers, well, it has a formatter for uh, evidence and it has a formatter and parser for the protocol. My the protocol, I mean the resource access protocol, right? The, the normal thing yeah, that sure. not, doesn't do attestation, right? The verifier has two parsers. Well, when I say parser, a, a formatter is, okay, it parses evidence and it formats, um, uh, you know, attestation results, right? And so maybe you can't reuse code between a parser and a formatter. Um, the uh, relying party has two parsers, right? It has the attestation results and the protocol. 
The only other case that I can think of where you're parsing two different things is inside the verifier where you get information from different sources like um, endorsements and evidence. And you can make an argument that says, if I'm trying to minimize the text surface area on the verifier, then I would kind of want evidence and endorsements to be in the same format. So you could kind of make that argument. We don't right now, but that's only the case I can think of. Okay. So the other, the other, the other part, Dave, which, which, uh, and I completely agree with you. The other part about this um, is uh, uh, mind share or uh, brain code print, code footprint, right? Mm -hmm. Which is that when they are in the same format, then one mm -hmm. savings is that you probably have the same person working on it because they don't have to think as much. So. Well, you yeah. <laughs> are more likely to, I don't know, pro probably might be overstated, but yeah, I get your well, point. Yeah. So, yeah, but that's the point is that, 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 that probably somebody can, they can then round trip things easier and mm -hmm. uh, anyway, there are advantages and, but, but at no point do we say there was an advantage that the, <clears throat> well, I'm actually trying to think about that the verifier attester link, if, if it's similar to the verifier um, relying party link, um, then uh that's that's not a i think you're saying that's not necessarily relevant although in the background check model maybe it is um i guess you could argue that in the attester so if i if we don't talk about a parser if we talk about a formatter meaning the thing that mm -hmm. uh that constructs you know cbor or constructs json or constructs you know whatever the format might be um you know xml um then you could argue that the formatter in common between evidence and the resource access protocol would help on the attester side. Yeah. Yeah. It's only got one parser, but it's got two formatters. I think that I think that one advantage is that people when they look at the cost of do, doing something and you said code footprint and they say, well I already got one of these. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 yeah. not another piece. I've got right, a let's, let's, sensor and I've already got a Seabor parser. Do you really want me to put it in a JSON parser or vice versa? Right. Right, exactly. And it becomes a maintenance uh, right. uh concern right. going forward. All right, so let's talk about issue two oh seven. So what was the context of this? Uh we were just discussing the the uh hi Ned. Uh we were just hi. discussing this pull request, which is now closed. Um um so i don't remember what it is relating to the to the to the uh parser uh to the code um if you click on 128 closed it will be the first one on the list there you go we were just discussing this issue that we've just merged that one ned it was just a clarity issue where the issue filed was uh, they thought that in red line 706, the same serialization format was confusing and also the, the same as watch, right? Um, but that wasn't the main issue. The main issue was just it looked like the, the filer thought that there was a couple sentences that were redundant and so it could be shortened. Mm -hmm. So I think the new text is one line shorter. Okay. And then you were on, then you switched to 249? E, whatever the was it discussion up. around isolate was that 249 yeah, yeah. yeah we were just starting on that one you can go to the issue to see what the filer was complaining about michael you want to navigate uh you want me to go to the issue that was just the, the one that you were just pulling up yeah yeah, not not this one. Oh, no, oh okay. I'm sorry. You want me to go? Sound to like Ned, Ned was fine with that. That's what okay. I heard. All right. Yeah. I'll okay. Yeah, the other one. And, uh, so this one, um, you can see the system bus verifier may choose to isolate its role as a wide area network attester, and the filer finds isolate from who or what, and so. So. Uh, the word uh, is isolation, isolated or isolation in TCG context sometimes has special meaning because it's part of a, de a, a, a fundamental definition they have around um, okay. you know, um, the, how, how, the, how, how what they describe as a root of trust is protected from 
rest of the world and, and therefore becomes a root of trust when they use the term. Um, so you'll see you know, there I, that I added a I, phrase that kind of defines it. And so when we get to the pull request, please review that to see if you think that uh, TCG has a different meaning, which I didn't know. Uh, I'm guessing it's compatible, but I may have gotten it wrong. So I'm trying to find the... when we get an actual pull request. So okay, I was just looking at there's, at there's the pull request. Here's the changes. Um, mm. Yeah. So the 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 green text near the bottom is where I expanded to. Uh, Eleven sixty two is the first use of the term isolate, isolating, isolation, or whatever. Uh, and so yeah. I kind of moved down, and there's a bunch of other uses of isolation after that, but the first two were in red seven eighty five and red eleven sixty two. Yeah. And so I removed the words from there and kind of defined it in context in eleven in green eleven sixty two. So, so the new the new text captures the idea that the a testing environment has to be protected from would be attackers that might use the attesting and you know uh, use the attesting environment to lie to the verifier. It doesn't say anything about the the domain isolation properties between the target environment and the testing environment, which could also be um, manipulated by an attacker. So I don't I, know if it. I didn't follow that. What eleven sixty one to eleven sixty three says right now is uh, making sure that the target environment can't tamper with the testing environment. Right. That's what. I understand is meant by isolation. If there's other meetings, then we can add those. But here, to me, isolation means uh, target uh, can't mess with the testing. The point is that the we assume that the target environment is may contain the attacker until such time is proven otherwise. Right. So I read I read eleven sixty nine sixty to be describing the relationship between the a testing environment and the verifier. Maybe I. That wasn't yeah. what was intended. Uh, the the going up off the top of the screen, Michael. If you scroll up just a little bit, the context of seven eighty two is maybe talking about that because at least my reading of seven eighty two, maybe I got this wrong because this wasn't my text. But um, this is a case where your system bus entity includes a. a Verifier for other things on the system bus, and it may implement a tester role. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't tell if that meant it's, it has two roles which are isolated from each other or what. That's why I thought that that sentence was confusing, and I thought it was easier to just cover it down below under the attester and att attestation key protection section in 1157, which would apply to system bus entities and everything else too, which is more generic. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. <clears throat> but it's just I think the general observation is there's two there's two sides of the attesting environment that um, need need to be protected with with what I would call domain isolation technology and um, so there's the it has the target environment on one side and the verifier on the other that's it um, so scroll down a couple lines Michael um, because what you call the domain isolation, oh, I guess you have to expand. I expand downward one because I think it's the next paragraph. No. Um, I'm looking for the next use of, of isolation. Maybe it's not there. I guess I have to look to see where it was. Because uh, I did not change it saying, okay, well, that makes sense in the context of this sentence that I added, I think. So let me find where it was. Are you doing that? I propose this be an. Uh, yep, I did not change that, but I agree with you. That was already there in the red text, but I agree. Go ahead. If you were to say you can also forge claims, that would be a true statement. Okay. 1172 is the line that I was going to, that I was looking for, that I was going to ask Ned about. 1172, such an isolated environment might be provided by a process, a dedicated chip, a TE, a virtual machine, or other secure mode of operation, blah, blah, blah. So when you talk about domain isolation, 
I don't know what you mean, but is it consistent with that sentence? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just want to make sure no other change is necessary then, because that's that's the good one. That's the line that talks about examples of how you might implement such isolation. Yep. So Ned, you yeah. had can also. I I would have. I'm saying in a, you use the word evidence. I would say claims, which are the structure that is provided from the target environment to the testing environment. I'm not sure what wording you're suggesting here. Uh, uh, an attacker can also forge evidence, claims, and evidence. Claims and evidence, two different things. Yeah, I, I thought that yeah. evidence was a claim, but a claim, cl evidence oh. has claims. And the claims, the, 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 uh, but the target environment, the, there's a there's a domain boundary crossing between the target environment and the attesting environment and what crosses the boundary are claims. Mm -hmm. Now we can come up with different, if there's another word that's more clear. Um, I or, am yeah, not yeah. certain that claims cross the boundary. The, they have to the be way assigned. that it's worded right it's, now is the attesting yeah. environment measures the target environment as so well. The claims are generated on the attesting environment. Then, so. we, then let's say measurements. Oh, we, haven't we, haven't, we haven't gone oh. used that term before. Mm. Go ahead, Hank. We'll get away from that term. I, I, I think we circled around measurements. So, but but the, the 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 first of all, the activity of measuring could be this tra uh, uh, this this traversion between this isolation somehow, and yep. and also uh, uh, there has to be some understanding what the values in the end look like of the claims because otherwise. Uh, uh, it is very hard for the tester, for example, uh, sorry, testing environment to, to sign them. That is not true on the secure channel side, although the testing environment probably would create a secure channel. So in the end, it has to uh, have get the uh, uh, mm -hmm. values in any case, in any way, somehow, either by measurement or relate to 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 put them into the secure channel. So you'll see that the that the uh, phrase that we're looking at is unchanged between red and blue, right? Uh, worthless mm -hmm. because becomes worthless because the attacker can forge evidence. I don't attacker, know what problem we're trying to fix here, I, even with also. I'm, I, I'm trying to uh, draw attention, and maybe it's pedantic, but attention to the the two sides of the testing environment. And I know we said a tester, but I'm just you know digging a little deeper into that. And so for I me, think... when I say that when I see the word evidence, that to me is the thing that goes out of an attesting environment and not the thing that goes into it. So I think that the point is that if you have the key, I don't need to compromise the attesting environment at all. So all this isolation is worthless if I have the key because I can use it outside of the attesting environment, the private key. That's, That's true. true. That's true you too, because there's, yeah, there's two things in the former line, mm -hmm. which is the protection of the attester and the protection of the key material. And so, yeah, you're right. You're talking about the key material. If you get that, you don't need to compromise the attester. Yeah. Uh, I, the no, purpose but... of compromising the attester is probably to get the key into material. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. I, no, not necessarily. Could be some other reason, oh. but yeah. You just want to pamper with the claims um, and say that you're healthy when you're not. You don't get the key material, but you can lie and say that your malware isn't present. Exactly. Yeah. Use of key, um, garbage, but so it would, it would, gar gar garbage sorry. in, garbage out, right? So <clears throat> yep. protection yep. means no garbage in. Yes. Just have to figure out how to say that. And, and, and protecting the key material means no garbage out. Yeah. I think we should just leave it as it is. Uh, I I I'm happy with adding also. I don't think we should change the word evidence. I think that we haven't used the word measurement in the document at all, and that was quite intentional. Um, okay. Um, I can live with it. I prefer it without also, but I can live with it. I think it makes it harder to read, but if you guys all like it better, I can live with it. I'm, I'm agnostic. So how about the attacker can forge evidence or manipulate the attester? I would be the testing environment, maybe. 
Uh, isn't that a testing mm -hmm. environment the point here? Yeah. That's fine with me too. Yeah, that's okay with me. Okay. Okay, and then there's probably like five other uses of isolation after that point, but I figured adding the line that's in the green there together with that 1172 with example, I thought was sufficient that all of our uses of isolation, I thought were fair in context. I read through the other ones and said, yep, that should make sense. Yeah, that's just another redundant use. All right, so are we happy with the text? Happy enough. Yeah. <laughs> Try that again, um, but I already did it. Uh, I'm confused. Let's try reloading this again. Add suggestion to text. Um, I don't know what happened here. I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to go back. And it says the right thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it just had a duplicate. Purple, red, and now this one's perhaps the most difficult one. Yeah, I started this one, but I have not gotten that far through that one and interviewing it. So I'll be doing it live. All right. So this is the complaint. Is a and the complaint is not from somebody who's on the call, right? This was Thomas. No, it is from Thomas. No, it's from Tom. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, it's is from it? Guy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guy. And okay, gotcha. Is it or is that Thomas your issue? No, no, it's it was my issue, and then he, yeah. you. You you wrote something and then I edited your your thing to try and articulate a bit what what the problems were. Is that yeah? so? If it's from you, then you can confirm that we've addressed your concern once we're done. So okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So that's the compute complaint is that we need to de define this. So the proposed text we have a reference added, a reference anchor added. <laughs> We have two handles added, uh, or one, HT. Which I'm going to argue down below should be removed, but we'll see if I got it right or not. Then all this text is replaced with this shorter text. Shorter text is good, but I'm not sure I agree with that. I think these are extended changes. So we we, we, we reworked uh, the story of the diagram to be. So that's where we started. Yeah. And then uh, okay. Thomas came from an implementation point of view and was like, yeah, the current example is more create more confusion than it creates clarity. What I would like to know as an implementer and that, 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 that. And then we created basically uh, addressed all these items. This is new text, to be honest. Yeah, so Michael, you can't you can't just say the green yeah, matches yeah, I, the red. I, I, the I, I agree right. with you. I agree with you. Yeah. All right, so okay. um, so start at the top and slowly scroll down after I say, we say, uh, so. I got that those, and then I got as far as the next comment that I had. I don't see. I should have. Did I not submit it? I should have two comments in there right now. Let me check. Maybe I didn't submit it. I thought I did. Yeah, it shows I have to come as. Hmm. Not in yeah. the uh, change. Two, 248, well, 248, the conversation shows them. Okay, I, I can repeat Oh, them. no, it's fine. It's uh, reloaded. Way above. We go. Okay, yeah. Fine, okay. I, I loaded the tab at the beginning okay. for you. So, 
I've only got two comments, and then I the, that, that's where we ran out of time, so, and meaning the, the meeting was starting. So this one, um, I, grammar, I think they're both correct, but the one that's easier to read is without the ED. But the main point here is uh, it, ta it says broadcast to all protocol participants by handle distributor. And you can use a handle distributor that's only broadcasting to two of them, right? Whoever uh, sends the nonce and whoever, sorry, whoever includes the nonce in a message and who uh, receives the nonce and checks that it matches the one from the handle distributor. You don't need it to go to all three or four. So all, I don't think, I would say regularly broadcast to maybe multiple instead of to all. You could go to all, but you don't well, have yeah, to. You could uh, still uh, use the handle distributor even with only two. Yeah, so, so the other point is, the definition of all protocol participants may implicitly mean only the people that need to get it. Yeah, but, there was yeah. these words for exactly that all participants could be not all. Um, I think that other oh, weasel words to make it simple here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're you're. That's why I'm suggesting multiple. I I, I don't like multiple because um um I I don't think that clarifies it at all. Um, Okay. Well, I'm just saying right now. <clears throat> just just is, remove uh, the word uh, all. Yeah. Remove the word all. It still makes sense. The fo the focus is okay. on uh, not not on how many. It's it's on handle okay. distributor. Well, I think to Michael's point, whoever said uh, protocol participant is an undefined term. Which protocol are we talking oh, about? I agree. I agree with you. That's an undefined term. Well, I'm agreeing with you. It was your point. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, all I'm saying is that, you know, the people that need to know about it are knowing about it. Uh, then what about just terminating, putting a, putting a period after broadcast? Uh, we can not that. Period, yeah, that sorry, would, that would be not, fine. not putting a period, but you still buy a handle distributor. So do, how about just deleting two protocol participants and you say regularly broadcast by a handle distributor? And then who receives it can be done in a later paragraph. Yes. Thomas, would you still be fine with that? All right. Um. <laughs> I open up a new one, uh, Michael, because you need to do two lines. Yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah, do I want to? Um, yes, I want to describe. I would suggest yeah. committing that one and yeah, then yeah. opening a new one with two lines. But, uh... Um, Thomas, uh, can you hear us here? Or yeah, it's a bit it, it's okay. a bit broken up, but uh, yeah. So, are you uh, fine with removing the uh, protocol participant uh, uh, text string as well? Oh, I all are still there. We just removed all. Wait, because uh, now, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, it, right. it should be covered in a later paragraph. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So here we get to the crux of my comment, and this is the last time that I reviewed. Um, mine is, so I, I'm going back to when uh, Hank walked me through this, and I thought that I completely understood it here, is uh, an epic. So an epic is from the time that you receive a handle until the time that you receive its replacement, right? That's the epic. Yes. The overlap an is, and the overlap is um, after you receive the new one, you still accept the old one for some period of time that's the overlap time, right? And so the time it was exactly. transmitted, the receiver has no clue what time it was transmitted, right? And so remember, anytime that you use a subtraction, it has to either be using synchronized clocks or it has to be using the same clock. And here, um, the overlap time is HR prime minus time HR is using the receiver's clock. And so I believe that is correct. And the transmission time is irrelevant for this. HR time minus uh, time HR, sorry, HR prime and HR Delta is the, the duration of an epoch, not uh, the duration of an overlap. Sorry. 
No, you are correct, Hank. Uh, my thing is wrong. Sorry, it was early when I wrote this. Um, so you are right. Um, and so my correction is not correct either. But my first point is the time HT is irrelevant, and we don't need to add that to the table because it's not used in any in any in in the overlap computation. How is it irrelevant to the exact thing that is highlighted here? The overlap. First, it, can I, first, it, can I delete the comment? Not in, can and, I comment? Uh, sorry, sorry, I can't do you both at the same time. First question is, can I delete the comment? Are you then saying yes? This, um, this one, well, but there's another okay. one. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think Hank's point is, um, the, well, so first of all, um, Hank's answer is more general than uh, my suggestion, which is a special case. Mine could be correct in an implementation where you define the overlap as being all the way back until the beginning of, of you know, for for the whole for a whole uh, distribution period, but you don't have to. Your overlap period could be much less than that. Um, actually, is it? No, because if you don't have a clock, I think the only way to do it is the is Hank. Correct me. The only way to do it is the way that I said. Um, so um, you th there is a definitely a time where you don't really know that the old handle is not a stale now because there is jitter on the network. Uh, uh, and you haven't received the new one yet, and received the old one. So, so, so there's yeah. this this, this, uh, this jitter is basically the between transmission and receiver, and and that is why HT is not there. Okay. Um, my understanding from when you walked me through this before. So again, mm -hmm. I'll refer to your understanding because you were teaching me, and I think I, I thought I understood it, which is the receiver always keeps two handles, the current epic and the previous epic, not and necessarily. It will, and it will accept messages that match either one. Because it doesn't that, know when to throw out the old one because it doesn't have a clock. Yeah, but it does not necessarily uh, keep the old handle. Uh, well, it's not that you can you can do it. You can you can implement it that way. It makes sense, but it that's doesn't. That's the only way to. that I can think of that it makes sense. Otherwise, you have race conditions that just plain fail. No, but you have no. To, you have to keep the old time. The point is that you keep the old the old the old. You you mm -hmm. have a reference to your old clock. So the time at which you received the handle, the H H R A, right? Um, that's a that's a that's a that's a, in the attester. That's a reference to my own clock, right? That's the time I received the handle. So whenever, so yeah. uh, as long as the evidence is uh, newer than HRA, I keep it. And even when I get HRA prime, I I I keep this open for an overlap period. Is what well, I used to be pointing to the uh, verifier or their lying party because the equation is what happens on the receipt of the. Uh... Uh, 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 of the party. Okay, that's fine. So I'm I'm doing the wrong one, but you, yes, okay. you so, use the same words, but point to one of the two lines. So yeah, so that that one versus well, I would prefer to point to the green, but that one. Yeah. So what happens if you look at the one that's highlighted now, right? You might be getting um uh since let's see, this one is background check or passport. I think this one is showing. Uh, sorry, uh, no, it's neither, right? Because it's the the not the. Uh, wow. So here you might be getting, I mean, I was going to say you're getting evidence or attestation results here. You're getting, let me see what line goes off to the right here. Because like in old 1464, it's evidence going to the right. There it's attestation results going to the right. Yeah, but, but you're looking at the red text. Does it make a lot of sense? No, where, where, right no, I'm looking for where the line is in the green text. Because I'm looking, there should be arrows going to the right in green text. Are there? Are there any, in the green text? I'm wondering if the green completely broke it. Yeah, there's something from the attestors relay of uh, result here. Uh, what does that mean? Is this evidence, attestation result, or neither? This is a relay of result, attestation I, result I from what, the attester. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, 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 it is uh, defined by your uh, um, uh, model. I, I didn't define any RR. No, okay. but it's the relay of attestation result. I can. Okay, then I should say it. attestation result. That's what line 1475 was, and it will show up that, that is, way in. That, that is uh, that is another passport. change to the text. We cannot. Uh, we, we we eliminated two line uh, uh, edges and 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 uh, created abbreviations uh, that are shorter. RR means relate a uh, relate result, which is uh, short for attestation result. And we okay. could also well, I, call it related attestation with R A R, but it's just, just very I, redundant. I'll just repeat my usual crusade: minimize introduction of new terms. R R is. We are not term introducing not okay. any new term here. We are introducing uh, uh, lines that are not doubled and and confusing to uh, a lot oh. of uh, verbosity okay. here. That's the only uh, thing. I, We're not introducing oh, anything I, new. 
uh, it, look at the look at the diagram for a second. If you scroll down there, I just want to point out. Um, okay, so I got your point that RR was already in there, and I can see it in there in line fourteen seventy six. Yeah, of course, fourteen seventy six, where it is inside a time parentheses. I am fine with that. What I'm not fine with is the label on the like where fourteen seventy five has a station result. That's not RR. RR is a time parenthesis. We can, so time we, cannot, we cannot write relate at a station result in that line because the line is then too long. You don't uh, need it is an relayed. abbreviation for that. You don't need the word relayed because we don't have the word relayed in the passport model where, it's, where it has the same meaning. You don't need it. <clears throat> in the pink. Okay, in the pink. It. Sorry. In the pink, it says attestation result. Correct. Yes. I'm arguing you should just say that if that's what you mean. But it is different here. And let me highlight that the handle here used for relaying the re attestation result is different from the handle inside the attestation result. That is the point of the story. So not highlighting it in the diagram would be a, uh, a, a, a weird uh, omission. So that's what I would propose. Is I, I, I didn't understand that, but okay. Um, in order to uh, convey the attestation result here, handle prime is used. And the I don't know what that means because conveyed. the attestation result is signed by the verifier and the attester yes. can't change the contents of it without invalidating the signature for which the exactly. line credit would drop it. So you can't actually exactly. use a different H. It doesn't work. Right. Uh, Thomas, could you help me out here so, how this uh, would uh, work on implementation level? I don't understand that the R part, the 1495 and the 1500, the R part, not the RR part, but the R part, that's identical. Yeah. I got that. Okay. I get that. That's what you can't change. You're yes. not constructing an RR, which is not attestation results. It's a wrapper, right? And it's yeah, signed there, by it, what? There's, there's, there's it's always a wrapper that it is signed by some entity. Uh, the, the attesting result. I don't. I, I don't. That is not of relevance here. Uh, the relevance okay. here is that you because cannot, from thin air, uh, convey with magical means a attestation result from the attester to the relying party. There is a message here. And it is not the plain attestation result. It is something well, around that it is so that it's relevant to the relay. Otherwise, implementation do not work. But please, this is also coming from Thomas. I can't be the only one explaining this. I think, unfortunately, Thomas has uh, drops. But maybe Thomas can 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 try to walk you through this because that would make a little bit more sense. I think. Uh, <clears throat> I think I think the what's. I, I think the pushback isn't so much the protocol as it is the how it's described. And when you have these message flows yes. with one letter or two letters of cryptic something or other, it's really hard to yeah. read. You know? Yeah, that uh, I, I get that point, and we can reverse it and can make the diagram unreadable by introducing more lines again. Uh, so that is not my point. My point is that I wanted to highlight uh, that, uh, to address uh, Dave's concern about the uh, invention of new things that are complicated but are relevant to the example um, eventually. And, and, and Dave is confused because, of course, he has not seen this before and cannot yeah. relate to other texts. So, so I, what I really want to have is Thomas to speak out here, if he can actually hear us, because so, that is somehow relevant here. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I, can, I can understand uh, a, the red text. I can't understand the green text. So, so in, in a previous okay, meeting, can't participate. In, in a previous meeting, I had a point of verification on understanding the flows and uh, we said it's okay if the if the um, text wraps around underneath the, underneath the arrow everybody gets that so and that is wrong and nobody got that on the implementation side it was utter confusion and so we had to clean it up so that is an attempt at proposal but unfortunately the people who actually could not understand the diagram at all were utterly confused by the two lines and what goes where and no exclamation about what the curly bracket means at all in any place in the whole text and therefore we simplified it, we thought. But unfortunately, Thomas at the moment only gets 30% of the audio and is unable to highlight what his yeah. concern was no. and why this is a solution to it. Yeah, so I think I think that if that's the issue, then let's talk about that the issue and and then and then let's yeah. figure out what's the right way to approach writing the document. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So but unfortunately we cannot have this discussion without Thomas. Because he brought in, and he's, he's basically the face to the uh, producer here, to the product okay. owner. So, uh, uh, and, and so, yeah, I don't know. I'm listening to Hank. Here's my proposal then, is we put this one 
uh, we leave this until next week and we go through some of the issues yeah. that we can talk about and that way yeah. we can make sure Thomas is here. And that way yeah. maybe we can have a chance to read through, you know, more people can include, I can read through the rest and other people can read through it and we can just cover it next week rather than. Yeah. But, but let's talk, let's, 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 before, before we sort of get buried in someone's solution, let's understand the problem and figure out what's the right way to do it. Cause it's, it's more about, you know, the style of writing the document as opposed to the content. Well, I, so I, let's I'm have that discussion right. next week when Thomas can when Thomas can yeah. listen 100%. I, okay. I, yeah. I, I have two, two take homes from this and please correct me if I'm wrong, Hank and Dave. The first is that there's um, this, there's introducing new terms that may or may not be, be uh, uh, useful. The second is the presentation and the diagram of where the terms are compressed uh, into what appear to be a new term. Do, do I have that right? These are issues with the proposal. Yes, the yeah. issue oh. uh, in the original is like uh, uh, curly brackets are never introduced and are un, uh, not possible for a consumer of this uh, content, unfortunately. Okay, so so that's the high level, additional high level problem that we don't know what the curly parentheses mean. Um, but then we also- Curly parentheses, yes. Right, so then the-, the, the uh, That's a comment that affects all of the diagrams, not just this one. Right. Yes, yeah. there are other uh, effects we have rippling yeah, out by this output. Yeah. That I think is a fine point. We can add a blurb at the top of the um, section before any of the pictures or something. So, I mean, yeah, before like we go to the solution, one, so. we, let's discuss. So, so we have a good scope yeah. of the problem, I think, with the new and old, and uh, that is topic of discussion for next time. So we can make okay. some room for uh, yeah. uh, progress. And then, Michael, the only one that you didn't mention is the one that I put into the comment, which is. I don't think there's any place that you need to use both uh, handle transmitted and handle received, and so yeah, I agree. I, I heard that part. That that was a right. that was but a yeah, that we, was a semantic, not a syntax uh, complaint. Yeah. yeah, that is true. So so that that depends on how you define overlap here, uh, and the example defines it, so it is useful. But the dev was not agreeing with that, so that is basically the point. But I, I, like I said, I I've not read through the rest of the text after my comment and before the diagram and so i will do that between now and uh next meeting so that then i can mm -hmm. have intelligent comments in the diagram because the diagram comes after the text that i haven't read so i have to read that first okay fine thank you and i could right. do it during the call but it sounds like it'd be better if thomas can participate if we just do that yeah next time and do that's it unfortunate i'm sorry for that i was actually anticipating that he listened to us but that was uh yeah. hopeful <laughs> so you could pick e any one of these other ones that people have already commented on, I don't know if somebody finds a, a short one, because I, I tried to call call on some that had no comments because I figured the ones with oh, uh, there was one that uh, Hank, you had originally signed to me and I re-signed it to Michael. Maybe we look at that one. Um, it was somewhere at the top. Do you remember which one that one was that you originally signed to me? Um, That looks like it. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, because that the 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 text being commented on. I, I went back to get blame, and it was uh, came in with Michael typing it. I don't know if somebody else uh, had originally originated it, but uh, Michael did the commit. So. Yeah, this is definitely a result of a consensus discussion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you go all the way down and click on the issue number that I linked. And it is part of issue 37. So look at issue 37 because that one is very closely related to this one. Yeah. Now that is the context, that's where that uh, paragraph came from, was an attempt to resolve issue 37. So that basically just says a third way is when the verifier is under. Well, that was the last commit because th th this was, that paragraph was composed sentence by sentence in different yeah, commits, yeah. so. Yeah. Mail. 
<laughs> they fail. That's an interesting it's a, it's a uh, contraction. Yeah. Interesting contraction. <laughs> So I think we wordsmithed a paragraph that was already there. Uh, right. And so if you go back to the new one that was filed, um, whichever one it was that was assigned to Michael. Yeah. Um, I guess my preference would be what's down under B, um, which basically takes this, the – phrasing for the first way and uh, compresses it to match the phrasing of the second way. I'm happy with that. But you can see what the filer was asking about. My opinion is that's the best way, but since it's not my text, I don't know if others have other ideas. So. Is the first question was, should this add, because uh, you can see it, in uh, the old text, the way that it could fill out the verifier talked about, you know, two or three different ways in which it could fill out the verifier, right? Whereas the second way did not talk about two or three different ways it could fail at the relying party. It just said when it fails the, the appraisal policy for station result, right? which could fail for a number of reasons, right? So... Uh, so, oh. ask, so should you add freshness to that and should you add such and such to that well sure or you can just abstract it and let it be covered by the text that comes after this so, so are we critiquing uh, a and b and trying to pick between the two or are we well, editing one of them um hmm. there's the original text which is uh the one that's quoted at the top of the issue um there's a, which does something along the lines of what the filer was suggesting with adding a reference to freshness and so on, as being another reason that it could fail at the verifier. Or there's a B, which would be my preferred way to address it, which does not add a forward reference to, ver to freshness. In fact, it removes some detail that's present elsewhere in the document. And, and I'm trying to get context for what section this is in. Um, good question. Um, passport model. Passport. Uh, well, it is. Although the, the the particular paragraph, the passport model is the one that appears first, and so in this part it has this extra paragraph that was inserted in making like the first instance of some of a point. The same paragraph would actually apply in other sections too, but it would be redundant. And so, like you know, when you do the first example, you do more detailed than the second example that you kind of gloss over the things that are elaborated in the first one that are the same. So, and this is talking about there are three ways in which the attestation process may fail, just in general, right? That would be helpful to add that. Um, <clears throat> it's it's supposed to be there in context based on what it comes after. Yeah, maybe that's fine. <clears throat> I, I kind of have dissonance with with use of the word way, although the first sentence is clear. We refer we use it to to describe the three cases, and I think you could just say something. It'd be cleaner to if you said there are three failure cases or three failure modes or something like that. Then you can use the failure, the term failure mode or something. Uh, it's more um, readable. Makes makes things readable. Case would be more correct than mode. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Failure case yeah. or failure. Possibilities. But, uh, I don't know. Well, Leyland speak. I like it the way that it is, but I don't feel strong. Yeah, but that's it. I don't feel strong either way. Uh, but it seems but, the, the the difference between A and B is the information that was left out, not the way yeah. that it's written. So that's 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 what I would really like people's opinions on: is do we think that the text that I put under B would actually sufficiently address the filer's comments? And mm. you might not be able to form a strong opinion on your own if you don't look at the context. Uh, yeah, I have a hard time looking. You have to put it up on myself here because I don't see the original text and uh, I can't can see I it up. Okay. Expand upward, Michael, so you can see the context. Okay, cool.
Hmm. I, uh, here I you put in line breaks, and so it's showing extra diffs. So sorry, um, <laughs> the line breaks were so that it would be saner, but. I have that stupid song, Three Ways to Le Leave Your Lover, now in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so appraisal policy became appraisal policy for attestation results. Um, so that I could then use 647 green appraisal policy for evidence. Right, and we also have evidence. Seems fine to me. Sorry, where where was that six forty? I I'm, I'm a little bit confused where option A actually came from. Is A the original text from from Thomas proposal? I I'm I'm a little bit lost by the by the provenance here. Because if you, Michael, could you please scroll up a little bit? To, to the top, yeah. So, so there's the initial proposal from from Thomas that does not look like A to me, and then suddenly A. So, where is that actually coming from? Um, someone Dave, help me here. Dave, Dave has rewritten uh, this to produce A. What? And what? Written it again to produce B. I think. Okay, both are from Dave. Uh, no, this originally is from Thomas. Yeah, no, A and B are from Dave. Are Correct, from Dave. Dave? Ah, okay. Now I have to compare all of them. Okay. Why I don't like forward references. A looks a little bit, yeah, and more intuitive to me. But I, I, I might be biased actually. Maybe I'm not a good uh, source of feedback. <laughs> so Thomas is saying that there's a fourth case here. Is that the issue? There's four ways in which the process may fail. I don't think so. So again, as this was initially brought up by Thomas, uh, my my preference is a little bit to the A, but uh, uh, hmm, that does not really yield any uh, consensus. So maybe I should stay neutral. Also, Thomas has to uh, weigh in here, I suppose. It is the point of A and B that the appraisal policy has freshness requirements in it, so you don't have to say anything about it. Uh, there can, yeah, that would be uh, that would be a interesting part of what I see at least. Um, yeah. Hey, I'm back. My computer lost power. Sorry about that. Oh. Ah, okay. I was like, Dave is curiously silent. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, computer oh, lost power probably right after the last thing that I said a bit ago. So, oh, dang it! Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was a little bit confused right. by uh, silence. So, did you make any other changes? No, no, no. <laughs> I now know that you both wrote oh, A I... and B. <laughs> yeah, and I, I wrote that. both of them. Yeah, saying yeah. Here's two potential ways we could address it. My vote would be for B, but so um so I uh, fixed the line breaks uh, okay. in the original text, uh, and I got a removed a trailing space here. I hate those trailing spaces, guys. Um, 
So that's make irrelevant. lint does uh, uh, fix lint go makes them go away. Yeah. So why did they get committed in the first place? Is what I'm trying to ask. Um, huh. That's yeah. Um, <clears throat> um. Anyway, so that's the the that's the changes without any other stuff happening. The, the key change in meaning is that uh, the green 646 to 647 now encompasses the notion of freshness by reference to other parts of the document, right? If something isn't fresh, it will fill the appraisal policy for evidence. Report of policy might be it has to be fresh within the following period of time. Right? And we don't say that here. It said elsewhere, but previously some error in processing or some missing input. Well, neither of those include freshness. And so that was what the issue was. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I think again that uh, Thomas has to also weigh in here uh, somehow um, because it's his initial issue. Um. Okay. Well, uh, let's take that to Thomas. It's the top of the hour. So now you have just the. Yeah. I don't know if Thomas, you can hear any of this. I guess I put it in chat. Uh, yeah. Be able to get chat, right? I hope so. I'm not actually entirely yeah. certain. Ah. Dave, I, I've heard the last uh, since I reconnected. I I, I I I think I've heard most of the of of what you were saying. So I will I will take a look at two five one and and comment uh, in line. Oh, okay. Thanks, Thomas. Cool. Thank you. And sorry again. This is rubbish. Uh, we hear you fine. Uh, okay. Cool. So I suppose downstream is congested here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, um, it didn't help, did it? And I think the 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 the, um, the issue is three uh, two three two, right? Uh, two three two. Yeah, yeah. Two five one. All right, let's come back to this, okay? Thank you very much. Talk to you guys next week. Okay, have a good week. Bye. Yeah, thank you, bye. bye. Squish.